Good morning. Those who deliver God's message will see it treated how? So our reading today comes from Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 7 to 10. This morning from the New American Standard Version. O oh Lord, you have deceived me and I was deceived. You have overcome me and prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all day long. Everyone mocks me. For each time I speak, I cry aloud. I proclaim violence and destruction, because for me the word of the Lord has resulted in reproach and derision all day long. But if I say I will not remember him or speak any more in his name, then in my heart it becomes like a burning fire, shut up in my bones, and I am weary of holding it in, and I cannot endure it. For I have heard the whispering of many, terror on every side. Denounce him. Yes, let us denounce him. All my trusted friends watching for my fall say perhaps he will be persuaded so that we may prevail against him and take our revenge on him. Jeremiah, like many prophets, often found it very painful to deliver these messages. And Jeremiah's humanity revealed itself when he pitied himself for being mocked. And of course, you know, if you're a prophet, uh, you have the day you give the prediction, and then there's a day when it comes to pass, and there's a space in between there. And until then, the prophecy is like, well, hey, that hasn't happened yet, buddy. There are people who are going to be uh, making fun of you and trying to discourage you. And Jeremiah experienced uh, this for decades. So you can see that from time to time, he would be frustrated in this way. He longed to be a faithful servant, but people were continuously for years making a derision of him on every side. He so wanted to be a faithful worker and he tried to hold back. He tried sometimes, but he couldn't do it. There was like a fire burning in his bones. He had to deliver God's message. And all the time there's these people waiting, watching, spying on him, keeping an eyeball appealed on him over there because, you know, if Jeremiah, if he lets up for one moment, if he stumbles a little bit, we're going to make the full treatment of what he does. We're going we're gonna to build it up and talk about it, how he certainly couldn't have represented God because he said it that way. So this is the kind of thing that he was up against for a long time. People were just waiting to say, God wouldn't have said it that way. No, God is a God of love. He would never have said it the way Jeremiah said it. People were waiting for those opportunities. They tried to suppress him, to shame him, everything they tried. They tried bribing him, humiliating him, but Jeremiah was faithful anyway. They mocked Jeremiah for, remember Pasher and Pasher, they put him in stocks. This was yesterday morning. He stayed overnight in the stocks. They let him out the next day. Did Jeremiah soften up? No, Jeremiah was just as strong and straight as he was before. In fact, he told Pasher, you know, you're going to go in Babylon and you're going to die in Babylon. So he didn't, didn't let up an inch. But remember, he named him Magur Mesabib, fear on every side. And so people were walking by saying, yeah, Pasher's doing just fine. But you say he's fear on every side. And they were making fun of Jeremiah. But still, Jeremiah was faithful. I think you and I need to be willing to be laughed at. We need to be willing to be mocked and mistreated, publicly humiliated, have people laugh at us and say we're whatever, whatever the current swear word is. Oh, you're just a fundamentalist or, oh, you're just a, a legalist, a literalist, uh, whatever, whatever uh, thing they might call us today. You're just a racist. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Deliver your met truth, the truth of God faithfully. Jeremiah was faithful to his prophetic ministry. And you and I, although we are not prophets like Jeremiah, we can just be faithful too, and God's going to bless us. So don't worry about it. Be true to Jesus. Think about Jesus, the one you're serving faithfully, and God will take care of the rest. That's what Jeremiah did. He was faithful, even though he was not really very popular among very many people in Jerusalem in those days. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right uh, we see the example of Jeremiah. We want to be right like Jeremiah was right. Bless us. Use us. Give us a faithful speaking for the kingdom. Show us when and where and how to speak, what to say. Give us wisdom in that, but help us not to back off an inch. Help us always to see how you're leading us, Lord. We want your vineyard to prosper wherever we are. Bless us and use us, Lord. May we be just as faithful as Jeremiah was. We ask for your help in that in Jesus' name, amen. So friends, when the day comes when it costs you more to follow Jesus, let's you and I be faithful. And it's going to be just fine. No matter what it takes, the Lord will be with you. God be with you today.